Okay, I want to do a little video on, it's not a new technique, I've done it for years with embossing folders, but it's a super way to get more than just the background use out of an embossing folder. And this is great for all those folders that have all these words that you can then turn into embellishments to use on a project. So, I'm going to use the Friends folder again and show you how I do it. And this is just the tea dye ink. And I want to just give that side a really good coat. And give me just a second while I emboss this. Or run it through the big shot, I should say to emboss it. I can't have the big shot in the my work area in the same place, so I have to go over here to do this. And this is how it comes out of the folder. And the tea dye color that I rubbed onto the folder just kind of helps create a background color. You wouldn't really have to do that, I don't guess, but I just do. And then because I'm just using Distress Ink, I just take some water and spray on it and kind of give it a lick and a promise. And if it really gets stained and it needs to be cleaned, I just take it to the sink and a toothbrush and some Dawn dishwashing liquid and it all washes away. Then I'm going to take a darker brown, and I couldn't find this one a while ago. And this is the Gathered Twigs. And I'm going to use one of these little, like, hard foam things. I'm not really sure what they're called. Somebody gave them to me, and so I don't know what the actual name of them is. But they're really cool to do this. And you just ink it up, and then because it's so flat... It will let you rub the ink over all of the high places or the embossed sections. And, of course, the word friend here has a, a lot more white space around it. But even at that, the way it rubs the color on actually looks pretty cool. And then you just do this. And I don't use much ink on the little applicator. I just give it a few taps to get some there and then basically rub until it kind of rubs off what I add to it and then add a little bit more. And I'm going to use some words off of this one on a card project that I am going to do shortly. But is that not just cool as all get out? And then, of course, you could do different colors. I needed these colors because what I'm going to do kind of has a coffee theme. So I wanted to keep, you know, kind of the brownish looks to everything. So when I start making my card, it will all... And if you notice any places that need to just have a little more pop of color, you can add a little bit more, kind of build it up in layers. And then when it all gets like you want it or like it, the look of it. And then to clean this, because I've been using this same thing for like, I don't know how many different colors of inks, I just spray some water on it and then take my piece of old t-shirt material and just rub it off and I can go I think on that one I have used blue purple yellow green and now brown and you see how good it still looks so then when you cut them apart this is from the all of this in the purple is from the same folder just done I rubbed it with what is this called? Old paper. And then put the purple on top of it. Because I wanted to tone down the white. But I didn't want too dark a purple. Because I wasn't sure where I was going to use some of these yet. And so it's all of the same words as from this one. And then this. I started this one. I did brushed corduroy. 
for the background and I actually started with which peeled paint but the peeled paint wasn't quite deep enough a green so all I did was went back over it with the forest moth and it gives me you know the the deeper contrasting color and then I just take scissors and just cut each section apart working around the words and then you can I mean, they're already embossed, so you could glue them flat onto your project, or you could still bump them up with a little bit of foam. If you wanted to go back around the edges and, and brush the same color just to deepen that, you could. That would just, you know, whatever you want to do with them. But this is just a way to utilize your embossing folder for more than just a background. And there's lots of folders that this will work for. You just kind of have to look at what you've got and decide, you know, what you want to, to do this to and then cut the pieces apart, that sort of thing. And not all of them work like this. These happen to have the little raised borders and the raised words. This is the, I called it the snowman embossing folder, but because these words are recessed, they don't give you that kind of dual opportunity to color the embossing folder and then color the word. So I just rubbed the blue on the embossing side because, like I said, it impresses it into the, the other side of the folder. So it actually recesses the color, but you can still cut them apart and do the same thing. I used to use words from this a lot on Christmas cards that I would make. And I had different words that I would use for the different cards and... So that's just another opportunity to get a different, you know, look out of using an embossing folder for things like this. So give it a try. It's super easy. Rub the ink on, run it through, and then just highlight or deepen the, the raised words. Or in this case, it embeds the ink into the word. And just lots of possibilities there. Hope y'all enjoyed it.